Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my absolute favorite video to film. It's my monthly favorites. I actually enjoy watching other people share their favorite products because that's how I learn about new things and I test out new products that way and to kind of receive feedback and see what you guys have been loving in the past month. So don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what you've loved this past month. And if you have tried any of the products that I'm about to talk about, I'd love to hear that as well. If you want to know what they are, just keep watching. The first products are actually like Bath & Body Care and these come from Ulta. They recently launched a new bath line and I don't know if you're already familiar with their bath line, it's pretty decent, but they recently came out with some new fragrances that I thought were just mind-blowing, amazing, and the bottles and packaging are really, really cute. They've upgraded their labeling and their design, and I actually picked the Morning Whisper. I fell in love with this scent. It's like a warm cologne meets buttery goodness. I feel like going to sleep when I smell this. It just smells that serene and tranquil. And it says it's aqua flower and citrus. I've never heard of aqua flower before. I have no idea what it is, but it smells amazing if that's what this is. And they come with aloe, vitamins A, C, E, B5, and shea butter. I picked up the Silky Smooth Body Lotion, the Delicate Fragrance Body Mist, the Creamy Body Wash, and the Shimmer Body Oil. There are, I think that there's also a shea butter scrub. There's a body butter in that line and a sugar scrub as well, but I didn't pick those up. I just picked up these four and the scent is just, it's just heavenly. I highly advise you go to your local Ulta and have a little whiff of this gorgeous fragrance called Morning Whisper. The next product comes from the Bath & Body Works Hawaii line and it is their classic Oahu coconut scent. It's like a warm toasted coconut that was caramelized with a little bit of sugar, but it's not overpoweringly sweet, which is why I like it. It's a very warm scent and it just smells like, like a cooked coconut with a little bit of sugar. That's the best way to describe it, but it's not overpowering. It's just a gorgeous scent. I go to this every summer, and so of course I had to pick up some more, and it's just amazing. This next product is a holy grail item for me, and it comes from Sephora. It is their instant nail polish remover. This little bottle is a bottle of magic. I don't know about you guys, but when you paint your nails or get your nails done at the salon, don't you just hate it when you instantly smudge or chip a nail? That infuriates me, especially if you pay a lot of money to get it done. It's supposed to last you a good week or two. So the fact that it would smudge that quickly, it would just, it would just upset me. And although I do like to go to the salon and get manicures and pedicures, which I do often on anniversaries or when I was getting ready to get married, things like that, special occasions. I actually enjoy to paint my own nails because it's very soothing and relaxing and I tend to do it while I listen to music on Spotify or while I watch Gilmore Girls on TV or even while I'm watching your videos on YouTube. So when I chip a nail quickly or smudge a nail, it's very hard for me to grab a cotton ball and nail polish remover and try to fix and remove the nail polish from that one affected nail without smudging or you know messing up the rest of my um, manicure. So this bottle is fantastic because all you have to do is dip the one affected finger um, toes are a little different. I don't think it works for your toes. It would be kind of difficult, but at least for your fingers, you can easily fix them with this because the one affected nail, dip it in, spin it around for a couple of seconds, the nail polish is off, and you can start again. Apply your base coat and polish and top coat, and it's like your manicure was never affected. And this removes nail polish so incredibly fast. I used to spend like 10 or 15 minutes just trying to remove nail polish with a cotton ball and nail polish remover, and it just took forever. And I also feel that this removes any staining from my nail beds as well, which I really like it. And it's about 10 bucks, so it's definitely worth it. If you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you give this a try. Maybe pick it up the next time you're at Sephora. This next product was actually sent to me to review my blog, but I thought why not review it in my favorites because I actually have been using it and really liking it. And it is from Overture. It came in this cute little dust bag. And what it is, is actually a key ring. And I selected it in the color called Sweet Carolina Blue. I chose it because it reminded me of the signature Tiffany Blue color. And what it is, it's a huge oversized key ring that you hang all your keys from so that you can easily find this in your purse, the bottom of your hobo bag, and you can put it on your arm and carry it around. It's just so cute, and the color is just adorable, and it's made of leather. And I will link that company down below if you guys want to check it out. They have hundreds of colors to choose from. I've really been getting into earrings lately. I'm actually wearing some studded little diamond ones right now from Town & Reese. But the ones I wanted to talk about today are these little silver hashtag earrings and they come from the brand Fresh. I found them online for like $5. I believe that Forever 21 had them a while ago, but online they were completely sold out. So if you just want to Google hashtag earrings on Etsy or eBay, you'll probably find some. And they were so inexpensive, but I just thought they were so cute and so fitting for us in this social media age that hashtag everything. I just thought they were just a fun take on an earring. 
This next product is the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. I have been loving this. It is so fun. I really, really like the sugared violet and the blue blueberry color to highlight and kind of accent that inner tear duct. So it's really fun for spring and summer. You can add a punch of color. This is kind of my go-to palette when I want to brighten up my lower lash line or that inner tear duct. I don't see myself using the colors on the lid as much because they're not as neutral or everyday for me, except for this beautiful melted milk ball right here, which is like a sort of pearlized shimmery brown, which is a beautiful cocoa color. But the rest of the colors are a little bit too pastel for me to use on a daily basis. But these brighter colors here, we have an orange, a violet, a pink, and then this pretty turquoise kind of color are great for the lower lash line and the inner tear duct. Another makeup product I've been loving is actually a great dupe for the more expensive Lorac um, Tantastic, I believe they're called, bronzers that come in a matte shade and a more glowy gold shade. Well, this one comes from Milani and it's also a Tantastic bronzing powder for face and body. And this is around eight or $10, I believe, whereas the Lorac ones are $33 a pop. So you'd be spending over $60 to buy both of them. Where here you could just have one for about 10 bucks. It works great. The shimmer and payoff and color pigmentation is amazing. These next two makeup products come from ColourPop and they are just these beautiful neutral eyeshadows and I picked them up in the shades Acorn and Bites. Bites is this gorgeous dark white color, perfect for uh, applying all over the lid. If you really want to brighten up a color, you'd wear this first. Or if you just want to brighten up your eyelid because you already have a shimmery dark outer corner, white is a great way to open up that eye. And then Acorn is like a beige kind of nude, but it's kind of shimmery and it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of a nude champagne. A little bit of hair care product. I've been loving this so much. This is the Miracle Leave-In product. I actually received a sample from Alta and fell in love with it. What I do to apply it is I come out of the shower after I've towel dried my hair. I spray about four sprays in my hair, you know, two per side, maybe one extra in the back. And then I comb it through my hair because it does 10 things for your hair. It detangles it, it repairs dry damaged hair, it adds shine, it adds silkiness, it detangles your hair, it controls frizz, it seals and protects hair color, it prevents split ends, it stops hair breakage, it creates silkiness, like I said, it enhances natural body. It's also a flat iron and blow dryer spray and thermal protector. So I feel like the five or six products I used to use when I came out of the shower are obsolete now because all I need is this and that's why I picked it up in the large size. This is the 10 fluid ounce bottle. And what I love about it is that usually my hair is a blow dry and then flat iron kind of thing. So with this product, I feel like I can simply blow dry my hair and it'll be shiny, it'll be straight, it'll be smooth, and it'll be silky. And I love that because sometimes I don't have the time to do those two steps, you know, to blow dry my hair and flat iron it. But if I do go the extra mile and flat iron it, I feel like it's even shinier, silkier, and it does lay straighter. So I have been loving this product and it is quickly becoming my holy grail hair product because I feel like all I need is this. Sometimes I'll mist a little coconut oil on my ends, but that's about it. So if you guys are looking for something to try out, I would highly recommend this. The next products are nail polish. I have this gorgeous one from OPI. I think it came out around Christmas time. I'm not sure. It's called My Dog Sled is a Hybrid and it's this gorgeous little minty teal kind of color. I think this is perfect for spring and summer because it's just so different. It pops. And even though I usually tend to do coral and pink and red only on my toes, I think this color might make the cut because I think this would be fun on my toes, especially with the tan. And the next color comes from the OPI Infinite Shine 2 line. I mentioned in my March favorites, actually no, I mentioned in my spring nail polish favorites the Withstands the Test of Time, which was like a minty green, a little greener than the dog sled one. But I thought I'd pick up a fun pink one, and this one is actually on my toes right now. It's called From Here to Eternity. And the funny thing is, the day after I painted them on my toes, I was watching Nicole Guerrero on YouTube, and she did an Ulta haul, and that was one of the nail polish colors she picked, so I thought that was kind of funny. The next two colors come from the new, um, I think it's called the Passion Flower, or the Petal Flower collection from Essie, and I picked up this minty color called Blossom Dandy. I love the name, and again, the color is so fun for summer. And then this one is called Petal Pushers, which is like a very dark gray, but I feel like it has a tiny bit of lavender to it, so I thought that would be fun. That was kind of out of the box for me, so I thought, why not give this one a try? Then I picked up another new nude lipstick from MAC, and this one is in the shade Blankety. I actually saw this in one of Jaclyn Hill's videos, and I loved how this added such a nice, glossy nude color to the lips, especially if you're doing a very heavy, overpowering um, makeup look, very heavy eye, 
a lot of blush or bronzer, you kind of want to downplay the lips. So I feel like a nice glossy nude is perfect for that. And this color, Blankety, is just such a beautiful color. And that's why I picked it up because it's kind of a browned out nude, but not too brown and not too nude. These next two products are skincare. And this first one is a face wash, I guess you could call it. This is from Hydropeptide and it is a cleansing gel. I love using this to remove my makeup at night because it, it not only cleanses my skin, but it also tones it and it hydrates it. And I feel so refreshed afterwards. The way that the bottle looks so refreshing in that aqua kind of color is the same way I feel after I use it. Then the next product comes from the e.l.f. skincare line. I picked up their smoothing serum. It's like a lighter, more water-based moisturizer. And this is fantastic to apply before you moisturize, but it also works well as a makeup primer. And I actually used it today before applying my makeup. I really like the way my skin feels. If you ever have parched, dry skin, especially in the wintertime, I would look this product up because it is water-based. It helps to hydrate and keep that skin hydrated all day. I feel like my skin is glowy after I use it. And not only that, but it's only $12, and if you've been looking into more pricier brands like Laneige and things like that, I feel like you could save a couple dollars by trying this product out, and I think you might really, really like it. Another kind of skincare product that I've been loving are these Pacifica Purified Coconut Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. I really, really like the way they smell. They're so refreshing. I just really love them. They do a good job of taking my makeup off, and they sort of exfoliate my skin a little bit, I feel like. Even though they don't say that they do, I do feel like they kind of scrub away any dry skin if there is any. They just smell wonderful. They smell so good, so much so that when I throw them in the little waste basket in the bathroom, when it fills up and I go to dump it into the garbage can, I smell this overwhelming... Uh, scent of coconut water. It's just amazing. And another favorite that I've actually been loving a lot this month is what's on my lips right now, and it is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Sorbet. It's just this beautiful toned down kind of cooler pink, but it does have a little red to it, so it does work with my skin tone. I am a natural beige in most foundations, if you're wondering, and it is just such a creamy, fun pink color. I feel like it's a great color for spring. It just kind of livelies up your face and if you guys have not checked out the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, I suggest that you do because they are so incredibly pigmented. One swipe and you're done. They're glossy as heck and they are just so beautiful. All the colors that they have are wonderful. I think the only color I haven't worn is the uh, violet one because I just don't think I could pull that off. It's a little too purple for me but the rest of the colors are incredible and again this one is in Sorbet. I think that's it. I think I talked. I think that's it, guys. I think I'm done. That was everything in my April favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a little skincare, some hair care, some fragrance, um, some lipstick, nail polish, eyeshadow, and bronzer. And that's pretty much it. Nail polish remover, a cute little lifestyle product with the key ring. I think I pretty much talked about everything, didn't I? So the video is almost over. Before I end this video, I actually have a little surprise for you guys. I wanted to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I have over 800 subscribers. I cannot wait to reach 1,000. When I do that, I will probably have another exciting giveaway. I kind of wanted to say thank you and just to let you know I really appreciate your feedback, your thumbs ups, and your subscriptions, and your comments. So I actually have two items to give away. This is open within the United States, so you have to live in the United States. And all you have to do to enter is leave me a comment below letting me know which product you would like to win. The first product is a brand new uh, Coastal Sense Reveal 2 palette. The reason why I'm giving this away is because I received it in my BoxyCharm and I already have it. So it's brand new. It's still factory sealed. One of you guys can win this. Just let me know if this is what you'd like to win. And then the other product is this adorable little ceramic um, vase owl, which Kathleen Lights has if you ever watch her YouTube channel. And it's hollow inside, so you can use it to store flowers, makeup brushes, whatever you want. These glittering, cute little eyes. It's just really, really cute. I have a couple already, and I thought I'd give this extra one up and do a giveaway with it. So if you guys want to enter, any of these products are up to you to win. It's open in the United States. So let me know in the comment box if you'd rather win the Coastal Sense Reveal 2 palette or the little owl vase. I will announce that probably next week when I film my next video. So I'll let you guys know. So you guys have 10 days to enter. Good luck. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Side note, I was born and raised in Miami, but I've been in North Carolina for about six years now. So this video is almost over. So this video is almost over.